Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the limitations of machine learning. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in machine learning and you want to learn about it, you want to learn about the artificial intelligence. So this video could be helpful for you. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. And machine learning has changed the game for several industries and biz businesses over the last few years along with AI artificial intelligence. However, there continue to be challenges and issues in machine learning that are present even today. Here is talking, taking a cl uh, closer look at some of the biggest limitations of machine learning and even the limitations of deep learning as many call it. Machine learning can be immensely practical for several projects, although it is not always proving to be a good solution for some projects too. Now, the first limitation is basically ethical worries. That means basically friend, one of the biggest issue in machine learning is ethics. Trusting and relying on algorithms for automation, analysis and decision making is good. Yet there is there are a few challenges since these algorithms may also be vulnerable towards biases at development level, especially since they are trained by human beings. Tough moral or other decisions cannot be taken by machine learning all by itself. Okay, next is the determining or forecasting. Basically, uh, friend, uh, another one of the limitations of deep learning is at deterministic level machine learning can be used for forecasting the weather for example and also for analyzing the atmosphere and climates of various uh, regions models can be deployed via sensors that analyze aspects like pressure temperature and humidity in this regard while you can program machine learning models for the simulation of weather and atmospheric emissions with a view towards forecasting pollution levels this may require a sizable time based on complexity factors data may be used for forecasting although neural networks may not always be able to understand varying dynamic of weather systems or the prevalent laws calculating a few variables may lead to outcomes that are beyond science altogether Neural networks can be can identify connection between output and input information, but cannot always explain the reasons for the same. Data gaps. Basically, friend, neural networks will naturally require vast training information in order to give suitable results. With the growth of architecture, the requirements for data will also go up accordingly. Some may go for data reuse systems, although this may not always ensure proper results. The absence of data in such scenarios thus becomes an issue along with the absence of high quality data as well. This also lowers accuracy for these models as well. So friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video if you like it. Please share it with the friends and colleagues and uh, thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.